The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He just drills this one. Heading for the corner. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The Bruins have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. And he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They come out in a five-wide set. Now he's flushed, and they got it. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. They'll certainly need better production from this offense as the game goes on. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. And down he goes at the 18-yard line. Loss of two. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down at 12. Ball on the 18. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Ready! And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. Watch the square, watch the quickly to the tight end. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. Booming kick. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. LSU's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, bro. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. tackled at the 42. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Gets to about the 44 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of four. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. He gets rid of this one, and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Pick up the 
racked up a yard of anything on that run. Second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Mike 35, Mike 35. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he's tackled at the 47. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Pick it up. Check number 19. Check number 19. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run it. And he can't get away from the pressure. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And watch out, they're gonna bring the heat right here. He really got a hold of that one. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses, but I got a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Scrambling around. And he's taken down around the 42-yard line. Part of game 12 yards. First down. Hey, it's Harhound. 57 is the mic. Mark 57. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. That's a game 12 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Set. Hey. Quick throw out to the receiver. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. Not much of a gain for the wide receiver, but at least he made the catch and got himself some positive yards. And he hits him hard at the 34. That's a gain of nine on the ball. Watch the screen, watch the screen. First down. the middle. Brought down at the 34-yard line. It's the tailback. Good outside run there. That's a game of seven on the way. That makes it third and three. We've played one. No score here. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Passes to the right. It's picked off. 
And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From their own 26-yard line, first down. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still first, first down. down. Journey fumbles a football. They'll bring him down at the 10. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring a third and long. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. You must be, you must be getting tired of seeing me. Ready! Flag 68! Flag 68! Here's a quick throw. Complete. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, LSU! He hits the PAT. A short three play, 82 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. LSU gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously, but at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. They bring him down in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Second down and 14. Ball on the 12-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. That's a great tackle at the 14. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And that'll be three and out. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Oh, excellent punt. He's taken down at the 40. He showed a good burst there. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. From the 35-yard line, second down. LSU is up seven. He's taken down at the 23. They'll work the right side. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Second 
Second down and five. Ball on the 18 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. Here we go. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. The Tigers use their second timeout. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. And he gets a yard on the run. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. LSU up seven points. Got the corner. They'll get him for a loss. That brings up fourth and goal. LSU is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Wow, he just booted that one into the next county. Let's hear from the referee. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. You know, the kicker has one job. Kick it downfield and keep it in bounds. This kind of stuff just drives me crazy. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here they come, and he's sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Bottom of the second and nine. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. They go to the ground and he stops short. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Heading for the corner. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. We played a half. The Tigers in front, 10-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites.
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination they wanted from a defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And right now, I don't see many holes. And I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Locked down at the 18-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 18. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And that was the junior corner who'll get credit with that tackle. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set. He comes in with his dime packing. On the catch. Oh, they strip it out. Number eight was his intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and six. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and they got him for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd and this stadium. He stopped immediately. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 20. Ready! And he just.
just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Steps up. He steps out at about the 21. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's to the 40. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing the quick punts. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Fox is out of the tailback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. He's out of bounds at about the 41. That brings up second and nine. Steps out of bounds around the 39 yard line. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. He fires this one. What a pick! It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. First and 10, all on their own 24. Five-yard line. She had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. From their own 45-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. Drop deep, drop deep. Hardy finds the mic. And he's tackled right away. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. the stop at the 47. Lost a five on the way. That makes it second and four. Up the middle for a nice game. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Let's go! Grabs it and hammered right there. That makes it fourth and four. Kicks up, and it's wide left. No good. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. 
And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Throws ball him back and got his man. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. That's three down and one to go. LSU's got a 10-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Check Mike 57, Mike 57. In your face. Down. Hey. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Going long. And a great catch downfield. Brought down at the nine. Third and goal, ball on the 15-yard line. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. To the end zone. Incomplete. And he makes a spectacular play in the end zone. Keep an eye out for this cornerback. It's going to be interesting to see if they continue to throw the ball in his direction. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a play or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows? Maybe a touchdown on the board. That could be the difference in the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. LSU is up a score. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. No, no game. game. That, that makes, makes it second and ten. ten. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Red 18! Red 18! And he hits him hard at the 17-yard line. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll bring up third and long. They come out on an empty backfield. Ready! Red 18! Got it! Complete, he's out of bounds. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. He's at midfield. And they finally make the stop at the 40.
down, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 40-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. the tailback gets out to around the 32 they show pass and then hand it to the back for a pickup of eight yards so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go and he's level at the 18 well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down you work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Taken down at the six yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Under a minute left in the game. He'll go down to one knee. We're at the 12th play of the drive. UCLA's staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is their team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.